Finding a good man is about as easy as finding a cat in a snowstorm on New Year's Eve. <laughs> That's what my mother used to say. You know what I say? <laughs> yes. Hello, I'm Marin Frist. I am a relationship coach. I got news for you. There are plenty of guys out there. They are not the problem, ladies. We are. We are. We are. A week ago, I thought I knew it all. How many of you think that finding the one, the one, is going to make you happy? When did we decide that someone else was in charge of our happiness? We don't even trust somebody else to order our soy lattes. <laughs> Women all over the country thought I knew the secret to finding their man. I think I was just a good talker. You wouldn't drive with a blindfold on. <laughs> So stop dating with one. You've got to watch out for the signs. Is he married? A cheater? Watches gay porn just for variety? <laughs> They're not changing, ladies. Detours. The 24-year-old kid who sells sandwiches in your office? The very hot ex-boyfriend who's never going to commit? Keep moving. Lose them. You are never going to be able to... <laughs> Keys. <laughs> you know what? I was happy. I was getting married. I'd like you to take my dress as a gift. We'll send it to you. Thanks to someone else's self-help book and the patch, I had quit smoking. I was booked at speaking engagements from Boston to Boulder. That was last week. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hi. Annie, you have got to stop crashing my book parties. I just wanted to be the first to have it in paperback. Okay. So who do I make it up to? Me. Don't you want to stalk someone a little groovier, like Bruce Springsteen or something? You make me feel better. To Annie. Stop stalking, start dating. Have hope. Ah, finally. Welcome. We're here to celebrate the paperback release of relationship coach Marin Frist's second book, I'm Dating and So Can You. <laughs> I am thrilled to announce that Marin's third book has been optioned called, fittingly, I'm Getting Married and So Can You. Enjoy the free book. Congratulations. Take a book. Thank you. It didn't hurt that a New Yorker columnist gave me a great review. You can thank me by letting me bum a cigarette. Oh, I quit. Graham hates it. Now I channel my addiction into spinning class. The things we do for love. Aw, I wish I had someone to give up vices for. This being single thing is getting very tired. Most of the time I can forget it, but then it's the end of a book party. And I have to go and hail a cab. Alone. Graham, go hail Kiki a cab. Gladly. Aww. You're a lifesaver. Oh, yes, thank you. You have a 7 a.m. to Alaska tomorrow, so ixnay on the third drink, eh? Only you, Jane, would book me a speaking engagement in Alaska. Oh, I had nothing to do with that one. But the lecture the next day in Seattle? Call me. Three o'clock, Daily News reporter. I knew. Hey, you know the rules. No coaching the editor. Shut down, gals. Deserve love, too. I think we just found the title of your fourth book. <laughs> Stavros Kalidarkos. Who? My old neighbor. For Kiki. <laughs> that could work. Most people count sheep. You count singles. Calms me down. Jim Friedman. Oh. Go to sleep. Ah. <sighs> oh. I'm an idiot. Oh, I took my fiance's computer by mistake. I overslept. <laughs> Never mind.
Well, that's him, <laughs> Graham, and me. Me again. <laughs> into some pretty heavy turbulence. I meant like, ah. hey ho! <laughs> uh, wow. Well, who are you? Oh man, I'm so psyched. I forgot to introduce myself. Patrick Bachelor. Yeah, and don't hold the name against me. I got both your books. Huh? Getting my learner's permit to love, you know? <laughs> Baron Friss. Huge. Patrick, have you got a cigarette? No, I do not. Chapter three, first book. Who's gonna love your body if you don't? Ah. Uh... Yeah. Thought you had me, huh? Got a lot of luggage. It's a great little bag. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of a Patrick of all trades. Radio personality, innkeeper, lover of women. <laughs> Marin Frist. This is huge. It's huger when Tom Self was up here shooting the cruise line commercial. And that was pretty darn huge. Marin Frist! I got Marin Frist! <laughs> Chivalry isn't dead. Chapter 5. Oh, looks like somebody forgot their mucklucks. Here we are. A presidential suite. Yeah. Check it out. Lincoln. Right? <laughs> Hey, would you maybe be a guest on my radio show tomorrow a.m.? There's a radio station up here? Well, 10 megahertz. But when the skies are super clear, you can hear us in Poland. Not that they can, like, understand us or anything. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. Oh, sweet. If you need anything, I'll be downstairs. Catch some Z's. You got a big lecture in three hours. Are you having an affair with Kiki Whitting? Just say it, I saw the pictures. Nice slideshow, very artistic. Yes. Yes, artistic or yes affair? Don't you ever just feel like you need to breathe? I thought we would do that after we were married. Which, going out on a limb here isn't going to be happening. Is she it for you? I don't know. I just thought she was going to be a speed bump. You're using my words to break up with me? You ready to go? She's there. In my apartment, there. Marin. Marin. Yeah, we don't have mini bars, but we have a full-size one down on Front Street. It's the Chieftain. Ah. i 
Vodka Negroni, please. Refresh my memory. Yep, bitters? Nope. Triple sec? Out. I'll take the vodka. Coming up. Make it a double. I know you. Uh, yeah, I'm Marin Frist. Yeah, 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 you used to sell pelts. To stand out on Route 11. No. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know you. Leave her alone, Jerome. What? He's not bothering me. He will if you let him. Hmm. I thought you might be hungry. Mm -hmm. I am. Thanks. Oh, that's nice. It's nice that people still like each other. Sorry. Oh, that's original. <laughs> the old pickup line. Use a little sprucing up, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to pick you up. Oh, yeah, you are. Trust me, I know men. I'm a relationship coach. Well, coach, what, do they get a ball team? No, I do not have a ball team. Oh, you got balls. Oh, uh, you're one of those. Oh, oh well, looky, Lou. You put yourself on cruise control and you flirt with women, but you never stop and get out of the car. My name's Jack, and I'm, I'm not trying to pick you up. I'm just trying to get a napkin. You need one, coach? No, I do not need one, and if I did need one, I could get one for myself. I don't need a man to get a napkin for me. <clears throat> in fact, I don't need a man, period. Yeah, it's nice meeting you, too. One more for the road. Hurry up. Uh, we're late. Yeah, we got a full house. Come on. Where are the women? We're hoping that you kind of help us with that part. Everybody! Marin Frist! Breaking antler. <laughs> When did we decide that someone else was in charge of our happiness? We don't even let somebody else order our soy lattes. What? Soy lattes. It's a coffee drink, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. The point is, don't cheat. Oh, and you got to look out for the signs, which I didn't, even though it's my job. Uh, yes, you. I don't have a question. Well, that's good, because I do. Let's say you're a guy. <laughs> okay. okay. And you get engaged to this girl after dating her for a year, during which time she's laughed at all your jokes, some of which not so funny. She's gone to your company picnic snore, your family dinners, scary. She's pretty successful. She's kind... She's not half bad in the sack. So why do you not want to marry her? She's no Selleck. Here, I think. 
no help. I wish that I was dead. With an ache in my head, I lay motionless in bed. I thought of you, and we go. Another word. Um, Jane, you gotta call me. I, Graham, this is really bad. Hi. Hi. You may want to keep your side of the bathroom locked. My side? Yeah. Sarah, I only have a half an hour before my shift. I need a spinning class. Ah, oh, spinning what? Spinning bike. A spinning bike class. You, you sit on a stationary bike and you bike to music. But you don't go anywhere. Right. Yeah, we don't have them. Well, why would you want to go for a bike ride and not go anywhere? What's the point? I mean, that's like riding a legless horse or like a poker stick without a stick. Or yeah, like I get it. Why is it? I'm sorry. And I'm sorry about last night. I missed my flight. And I really need to get out of here. Yeah, and you missed my radio show this morning. Oh, okay. I'm sorry about that, too. Yeah, I did interview my mom. Again. You really wouldn't want me on the air right now, trust me. I think I got something for you. Now, the front brakes don't work, and you're gonna need this. The bear spray. Actually, you sprayed on the bear, but that'll work. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, whoa, ah, sorry. Sorry. Ooh. Ooh. My heart knows it better than I know myself, so I'm gonna let it do all the talking. Ooh. Ooh. I came across a place in the middle of nowhere with a big black horse and a cherry tree. Ooh. I felt a little fear upon my back I said, don't look back, just keep on walking Ooh. 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 You got a 911. So, is it, what, you're a cop? A uh, fish and game biologist. The sheriff called me. Is that what they're wearing in New York these days? All of my clothes are in there with the. Uh... It's a pretty big, possibly rabid raccoon. You're gonna wanna wait outside. I'm not leaving that animal alone with my favorite purple faux croc flats. Well, could be dangerous. I'm fine. They go for the neck. Whatever. Get on, macho. <laughs> the deceased. <gasps> you can't leave food out or... Whatever this bar thing is. These are very tasty. I only make one round trip flight tomorrow to Sitka. Fine, I'll go to Sitka. Oh, you don't want to go to Sitka. Wrong direction. Anchorage will get you to Hawaii. What, what's in Hawaii? Well, she wanted to go there for the honeymoon. He chose Turkey. He got to choose because she made him take dancing lessons. 
Yeah, I told you all that last night? Yeah, somewhere between the vodka shots and the schnapps. <sighs> what kind of a pansy man takes dance lessons? <laughs> Buzz, I just want to get to Hawaii and relax. And I'm desperate. And apparently you are the only pilot who can fly me tomorrow, so... Buzz Airways, and I'm not sure Buzz is flying tomorrow. I got 200 bucks. Hmm. Okay, I'll take you. Noon sharp. Yeah, happy. Yeah, happy. Goodbye, happy. I'm going to Hawaii. That's right, Hawaii, where it's warm and where there are cigarettes. Well, that's why I'm here. To make sure you get on a flight tonight to Chicago. Oh. No flight to Chicago tonight. But you're welcome to come with me to Anchorage and then to Hawaii. No flight to Anchorage either. There isn't? Nope. It's the storm coming in. Buzz Airways is grounded. Uh, you buying, little lady? Friend told my shrink. Your shrink told you? Yeah, she was upset. She needed to talk about it. Oh. Is this a gay bar? This is the only bar. This town is filled with men. They're all over like a bad rash. They're even in the trees. Ask me why we're going to Chicago. I booked you on Oprah. This is the part where you jump for joy. I can't do Oprah. All you've done for a year is talk about going on Oprah. I can't pretend that I know how to find a good man when I can't find one myself. Stinking thinking. Well, everyone has got to stop quoting me to me. Okay. Yes. And what will it be? Ah, uh, yes. I would like a Chardonnay. It's a white wine. If you like white, I have a Jolivet Fumé 2001 that will knock your boots off. Hmm. Look, you just have to get back on the horse. I'll start writing the book again and it'll be okay. Oh yeah? And what's the name of the book gonna be? I'm not getting married in four weeks because he cheated on me and you can too? Mm, that's a little long. Uh, apparently I know nothing about men. Uh, well, maybe you just weren't listening. Oh, men talk? Oh, uh, you have dirty Harry syndrome. What? All I heard was dirty. Every woman thinks that she wants dirty Harry. Tough guy, you know, with a big gun, strong and silent. But really, what's getting you ladies all hot and bothered is Clint Eastwood, the guy who played Dirty Harry. The guy with a gun who'll watch Harry meet Sally with you and cook dinner. And you make too many dinners and you're a pushover. Cooking dinner, watching girly movies? What's wrong with you people? <sighs> Women want it all. We can't give it to you. So you guys are kind of screwed. You got it. <laughs> huh. well, breakups. How to hammer the dents out and get back on the road. You can either lie in bed and mope or get back out there. I say take a shower and go out and smile. Because the next guy's not going to notice you unless you have your bright sun. Totally full. Official. No one in Alaska reads. How you doing, Coach? Sir, perhaps you'd like to add Marin Frist's bestseller to that stack? Jane, it's fine. She is a world-renowned dating expert. Yeah, I know. I was at her uh, at lecture. Oh. You know how amazing she is. Well, I know she can't hold her liquor. You know what, I'll take one. Oh, don't buy my book, because you pity me. Okay. 
I'm officially pathetic. No, you're not. You're going on Oprah. Mm. If I get reception on this thing and get them to push a day, it's four minutes after the cardinal. They should be in by now. Hold down the fort. Mary? Annie? What are you doing here? I heard about what happened with your fiancé. Of course you did. I had to take a bus from Vancouver. There's a bus to Vancouver? Once a week. You just missed it. Oh. Have hope. What? That, that's what you wrote in my book, Have Hope. You, you have given me hope. And now I want to give you some. Annie. That is really sweet and really extreme of you. <laughs> you deserve a great guy. Well, he'll show up, right? I, I mean, I'm still getting my learner's permit to love, and I'm ignoring a lot of the road signs, and there's been a few detours Annie. along. But when I come on, uh, yes, come on, coming. Bye. Hey. Sorry. Um, oh, hello? hello? Yeah, can you, can you hear me? Uh, hold on. Yeah, is, that, is that better? Okay, so I, I think I can get her out tomorrow. So if you can read book on Thursday, that'd be great. I just have my assistant fax you. No, no, no. So do, do, do we have a deal? Uh, Lady! I, yeah, I'm, I, I'm on the phone here. Yeah, well, you got to move, because I got to plow. I am not giving up the one corner where I can communicate with the outside world. Yeah, no, 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 it's fine. I just, I... You're being very rude. Hey, I'm just doing my job. So am I, Buster. Name's Dave. What's yours? Not moving. Suit yourself. Patrick. Annie. Annie. Patrick. Hey, ho. Hi. Oh, hey, uh, something came for you today in Ben's lemon shipment. Yeah, I put it in your room. Thanks. No, Doc, thank you. Yeah, she's a crackpot, but I dig her. I had listened to her read a Chinese menu. I wrote that. Yeah, in her chat room. Alaska dude, one, two, three? Yeah. City fan, four ends. <gasps> My dress? Oh, no, mister. Not this time. Yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like. The door was open. What, what looks like? Marriage. It's full of a lot more dirt and holes than the fairy tale dress they sell you. Sarah, can I tell you something I've never told anyone? Pretty much got dirt on everyone in this town, so shoot. All these years I've sold myself as the single girl? It's total lie. I've never actually been alone since I was 16. I've always had a guy. Well, I've never been able to be with someone. So you're not married anymore? Divorced. I have a kid. His dad went AWOL to the lower 48, so I try and make ends meet however I can. Right. Go ahead. Judge me. 
I'm not gonna judge you. I judge me. I really want to leave the hospitality business. It's hard to find a guy who just likes me for me. Yeah, dating was impossible for me once the guy found out I was a relationship coach, so I would lie and say that I was a computer technician. <laughs> How'd that work? Well, pretty good until he asked me to fix his hard drive. Love sticks. <laughs> Love sticks. Do you have any cigarettes? Cigarettes come in the first of the month on the ferry. By the end of the month, we're down to chalk. I'm not that desperate yet. The guys love it. I can't stand guys. You came to the wrong town. Ratio's like 10 to 1 here. So, men run the place. Are you kidding? Well, we're the ones with the power. If they're lonely, we're the prize. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Here I've been telling single women to go to sports bars. I should have been telling them to go to Alaska. It, yeah, well, the odds are good, but the goods are odd. Ben seems nice. And very into you. Mm, better be. He married me. Now oh, we're separated. Ben wants to get back together, but I want to see what else is out there. So up here, women get to be men. Everyone gets to be who they want to be. Anywhere they can sell me a cigarette? Get in. What are you running away from? Everything. When you were lost, you must look to the skies for answers. Our ancestors are there in the stars, clouds. But if there are no answers, if you don't believe, you'll end up like the frozen girl. She kept walking, never looked up. They found her body frozen to death on Knocknick Mountain. Three hundred years old, alone, no teeth. In fact, she was still fat after three hundred years. That's how fat she was. Here we go. Thank you. You see the thin ice signs? No. And P.S. Seeing signs? Not my strong suit. What is this? Observation hut. What are you uh, observing? I was looking for a nocturnal bear. But instead, I found a relationship coach. Almost as dangerous. Oh, man, I'm cold. I'm getting hypothermic. But it's too dark to walk across the ice safely. There's only one way we're gonna make it to morning. Light a fire? Your elbow's in my... Thank you. This... Getting naked for one thing better not be some sad attempt to get sex. No, I don't want to have sex with you. I know all about you lonely Alaska guys. Oh, yeah. well, maybe you should stop thinking it's stereotypes. It's not you. It's all men. I just don't want to be around them right now. Well, it's working out for you. Shut up. Gladly.
everything in the right place, Coach. Wolves. <gasps> Beautiful. They're mating. Actually, she's just uh, rubbing her crap into his fur. But then after, you know, maybe they'll, they'll get busy. Drive, coach. I screwed up my shifting wrist. I can't. Well, you have to. No, I can't drive. <laughs> I'm supposed to be teaching people how to drive to happiness, and I don't even have a license. I know, it's totally lame. Up until now, a total secret. Down. Well, this is a good place to learn. Plenty of open space. Just a few stoplights. No one around to see you when you hit a tree. <laughs> yeah, uh, third. Yeah. Uh, there you go. It's okay. So what's your secret? What you see is what you get. Can you drop me at the dock? What happened to you? You know what? Don't worry about it. You can shower in Chicago. I'm not going. What? What do you mean? You're not going to Chicago? I'm not going, period. Oh, Marin, honey, you can't stay here. If I don't have a nail place or a, or a spinning class. I need to breathe. And start my book. About marriage? About men. You said you didn't know anything about them. It's about time I learned. We say we go, ladies. I'm on the clock here. Oh, Mary. <laughs> Please be okay. If you change editors, I'll hunt you down and kill you. Buzz? There is a universe that can't be seen. Feeling if you know what I mean. Delectable dimension, undetectable by sight. Fill up your heart in the dead of the night. Some say that it's an astral plane. Can't be described, can't be explained. What you put for f question four? D. Same here. The truest thing I know about relationships is that sometimes we don't know anything at all. Separation exists not in love, feel hard, but only in your mind. Real stories all around you. Even now it's around you. Even now I feel the power. You can't always get the one you want. And sometimes the one you get may not be the right one at all. But if you have hope, the universe has a funny way of showing you exactly what you need. The challenge is to let yourself be alone until the right one shows up. But you can't hide either. Heartbreak sucks. 
but not having heartbreak sucks more. The answers aren't in a lecture or a book. But maybe if you get yourself happy, you'll find the right one. I believe this because, against all odds, I am still an optimist. The world exploded in the love all around me. Every time I take a look around me. That's the thing about love. I had to smile. If it were that easy, everyone would have it. So you're saying I should be more optimistic? I'm saying you should ask her out. Oh, all right. Thanks, man. That was AJ from Ketchikan. Thanks for the call, AJ. Hold on. You have another caller on line 2 through 20? We haven't had this many callers since I raffled off my mom's salmon smoker. <laughs> okay. Let's start with line two. 